Hi guys and welcome to Kai Creative, I'm Kai and I've just recently downloaded the latest Adobe CC 2015 and it comes bundled with this Adobe Character Animator. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the getting started tutorial that they've bundled it with and so let's get started. Welcome to Adobe Character Animator. We bring Photoshop and Illustrator art to life. Lesson 1. Controlling a puppet with your face. I am amazing! <laughs> with the power bestowed in my magical keytar, I've conjured up our friend Red Monster here. You'll take control of him soon, but first, I want you to calibrate your webcam. It's easy. Just look at your puppet. Not your own face, the puppet in the scene panel, and press the set rest pose button in the left lower corner of the camera and microphone panel over there. Okay, I want you to stop playback and do it now. When you're finished, just restart playback. Okay, so we're going to stop playback. Oh, set the pose. Hello, I am, what is this, Red Monster? The red monster, and uh, ooh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. So what you can see is, it's tracking my face, like, and my mouth, and ah, uh, it's not really closing the eyes. Well, I suppose it can't because it's only eyelids at the top here. But apparently, my let's see, tracking my eyeballs. Yeah, kind of, kind of. That is really very cool. Very cool. A lot of potential here to save a lot of time animating, especially faces. I mean, I've done manual animating before and it can take a lot of time. Very cool. Did you do it? If so, you should now see red tracking dots on your face. The face tracking will be more accurate after you set the rest pose. It's a good habit to do this before every recording. Did you try smiling or looking surprised? What about moving your eyebrows up and down? If you'd like to experiment with Red Monster a bit more, stop playback now, otherwise we'll move on. Lesson 2. Lip Sync Using Your Microphone Why don't we try out this floating Frankenstein head? Oops, wrong key. There we go. You'll get better results if your audio levels are loud and clear. Why don't you stop playback and try talking into your microphone? Bring the mic a bit closer and stop the playback. Hello, I am Frank. Still not, it's not tracking my eyes. It's not closing them. Maybe they're too small. Uh, that is quite quite cool how it's tracking and my web camera is like really cheap a cheap nasty one from ebay so it's not doing a bad job at all with those tracking points very very cool cool isn't it oh, yes you'll want to wear headphones if you're planning on controlling more than one puppet in a scene Otherwise, the sound from your speakers could be picked up by your microphone. That sounds bad. And it might also create an infinity vortex that destroys us all! Lesson 3. Controlling a puppet with the mouse and keyboard. Wendigo has been given keyboard triggers to make him look around. He also has a mouse handle in each hand. It's very important to note that the keyboard triggers will only work if the scene panel is in focus. To bring focus to the scene panel, simply click into the window containing your puppet. Feel free to stop playback now and get familiar with key triggers and moving mouse handles. Ooh, okay, so let's do that. Stop the playback and... Oh, yeah, it's tracking. Eh, hmm. So we can drag this. Hi there, I'm Wendigo. Some crazy, freaky looking creature. And there's like numbers here, one, two, three, four. So I'm guessing we hold down. 
Yeah. Oh, still tracking my. Oh, still tracking my head, my movements, with my mouth. Hi, I'm over. I'm over here, man. Where? Where are you? Where? What? <laughs> yeah. No, that is just. It's gonna save so much time, isn't it? I mean, there's still bugs in it, but it's gonna save so much time with, like, for animators. It's quite quite impressive actually lesson four secondary animations using physics gravity can affect parts of your puppet you know the drill stop playback and move your head around to see how gravity affects bunny dude okay bunny dude let's see what we got going on here right so like there's little tassily earrings are floating around Whoa, buddy, dude, your head is so small. Yeah, still tracking. I don't know what's going on here, though. There seems to be some random eyes popping up. Unless it's supposed to be like that, I don't know. It's quite a freaky looking bunny dude. Okay, carry on. We also have a particle simulator, which allows us to do cool things like shoot lasers from our eyes. Oh no! Looks like we'll need to cut things a bit short here. I clearly don't have control of myself. I know we've only just met, but I have a big favor to ask you. Please stop playback and put out the fire with this elephant! The elephant particle. Oh, there you go, they're the particles. Particles of water coming out to put the fire out the fire is ah oh, look the fire is eternal the end all oh, right no it's pretty cool like there's a lot of um definitely a lot of potential here open scene two scene two all about just open up scene two have a little look but definitely a lot of potential for animating characters you know it would have taken such a long time before before, like I've done it before, lip syncing and blinking, although they don't seem to be blinking. I don't know if it's my eyes being too small or that they're not rigged up for that. Maybe you need to do something. But yeah, just animating facial expressions and head movements to make it just a bit more natural just can take hours and hours. But with this new feature, um, it seems to just, it seems to just be, there we go. <laughs> it seems to be really quite useful you know and uh, we'll save a lot of time yeah okay so that is the new adobe character animator thanks guys for watching um don't forget to comment rate and subscribe what do you think of the new adobe cc 2015 if you've downloaded it yet what new features do you enjoy put them in the comment box below and don't forget to catch us next time on kai creative ah.